everyone. So for today, we are going to learn how to use a Zoll defibrillator. Welcome to another learning with I am Dennis P. So today we are going to talk about the Zoll defibrillators. So the Zoll defibrillator, if you notice in the front, it has three color. So the red or orange color pertains to your defibrillation. The gray area is for your monitor. And for your pacing, it is the green area. At the back of the monitor, you will have different cords. This big cord here is where the electrical flow would be when your treatment. You have your SPO2 cable there. You will have your ECG leads here, the end title, the yellow one, and you have your blood pressure cuff in there. So this is the end title CO2 connection. It's very easy. All you have to do is to slide this plastic sleeve that would come in a closed, clean package. All you have to do is to slide that in here and you can attach this to your ambu bag or to your ET or trach tubes. Okay, so when we look at the top portion of our Zoll defibrillator, you would see and you can locate where your battery is. So this is where your battery. You wanna make sure that this is always plugged in because if I do take it out, you can see that there will be a flashing yellow light that's coming on in the front part of your device. To check how much battery left, all you have to do is to press this circle here and you would see all that color. It should all be green. Every bar should correspond to 30 minutes. So without plugging this device, you can use this to a max of four hours. Now on the other side, will be where your paper recorder is going to be. So if you press this button here, it will reveal your paper. So note that when you open up a new packet, the first page will always be folded. So you can see this arrow pointing away from you. So when you are feeding it or when you're putting it in your paper um, recorder area, you want to make sure that you pay attention that the arrow is pointing away from you. And all you have to do is to pull it up and feed it to your paper recorder. Let's look at the front part of your monitor. You would see this is your battery and this is your outlet or your plug. When it's both lighted green, that means they both have their, they are plug in and they have the battery. Once I take off the battery from the top, note that that battery light will start blinking orange or yellowish. It's saying like, oops, where is my battery? In the screen, you would see a check mark. That signifies that it is ready for use. Check on your institutional policy, but normally this will do a self-test at 4 a.m. in the morning and it will run a self-test in the pads itself. You just wanna make sure that this is plugged in correctly into your so pad. This is the Zoll defibrillator pad. So when you open up the pads, it would actually look like this. So it's easy to follow. Just make sure you look at the diagram on how to place it. It will be over here and one on the side. And you notice that there is a pop. This will serve as your CPR feedback device. Once you have correctly placed the pads, it would look like this into your patient. There is also a multi-function electrode pad that you can use for cardioversion that entails to be placing this anterior and posterior, that means front and back. Once you open that pack, this is how the pads will look like. This is how a pediatric pad will look like. The recommended um, placement will be anterior posterior. To remove this pad, you want to make sure you're pressing on this area here so that you would notice that it actually releases it from the other part of your connector. So all you have to do is to press and pull. To put it back, or if you're putting a new pad on it, you just want to make sure that you kind of like put the pieces together and slide it in. When you turn on this uh, Zoll defibrillator to monitor, this is how it's gonna look like. So you have your SPO2, NIBP, CO2, and on the top you will have your CPR um, feedback area. You have your ECG and pads, and note there's two um, ECG rhythms in there. So when you click options, 
it will give you some options to change some setting. So if I want this beeping to stop, I will click here as volume off. And you notice this low or bright, you can adjust this to low or high brightness. And if you wanna go back to the main screen, just hit return. For code markers, when you are monitoring a patient, it will give you different options, different medication, different treatments, that is appropriate for patients who are being monitored using the Zoll defibrillator. When you go on the side, you would see that you can actually change the lead to lead one, two, or three. You can also increase the size by pressing the size soft key button here, times two, times three, and you can hit a continuous recorder if you press the recorder button here. Note right now that the alarms are suspended as, signif as shown by the bells having a uh, um, X mark. Now I have turned the alarm on. If I wanna increase the size of the display, I can do that as well. One good feature of this um, Zoll defibrillator is that you would notice that there's an ECG. This gets affected with a lot of you know, movement, especially when you're doing CPR. That's where all your artifact is gonna show. In this filter area, this will actually let you see the underlying rhythm. It takes out, it filters everything out, including all those artifacts. So that's a good feature of this machine. One last feature that I wanted to show you is this blood pressure icon. If you wanted to run down your blood pressure, all you have to do is to press that one. When you, have, when you are in the monitor mode, when you click on parameters and click on NIBP, you can actually change the setting or trend it. So you can click on the setting and you can either do a cuff inflation or an auto interval. You can decrease or increase the interval based on your desired measurement or time frame. Now let's talk about the defibrillation mode of this patient. Now the patient is having, our rhythm is showing V-fib and you see all the alarms are going out because our alarms are turned on. If I do wanna suspend the alarm, I would do press and hold for this until I would see all the X mark in my bells, as you can see. So the treatment for this will be defibrillation. So I wanna make sure that my knob is turned to defib mode. Okay. And then with that, you wanna make sure that you are doing correct CPR. If somebody is doing CPR, you should see the values in here. As you can see in this CPR box, we wanted to see all purple. So in terms of Zoll, purple is good. Feed provides us feedback in terms of your rate, the depth, and actually the release, which signifies if we are giving a complete chest recall for our patient, and your PPI, which is your performance perf perfusion index. If we wanted to give um, a shock or defibrillate this patient, the first thing you wanted to do is to put this on AED mode. Click Analyze. Stand clear. All right, I'm clear, everybody clear. Note the jewels that was delivered. Press shock. And I will press the shock. Perform CPR. Another feature of this device is that timer. It will give you an estimated two minutes the correct clock so at least the one who's doing CPR will know how much time left in that two minute cycle. One good thing about this is that this machine can remember the energy that this machine delivered earlier. So earlier the, the machine gave 150 for this patient. 
But let's press look what shock. happened if I press the shock button again. Perform CPR. You see how the machine delivered a joule of 200. Because the machine can remember what was the energy given earlier. Let's shock the patient again. Let's pretend that Stand clear. we are ready to give the third shock to this patient. Now it's still saying 200, but when I press the shock, shock button, Perform CPR. and you see that it give, there's a different number below. And that is because the machine detects the impedance, which is very important in providing shock. So when you are defibrillating, again, I want to point out this cold marker feature. So the, that cold marker is unique to whatever treatment you are choosing in this knob. So these are your options for your cold marker under your defibrillation mode. So you have all that medication and treatment. If you get more, there are more options for you. Okay. In terms of your defibrillation, you can always put that on an AED mode by clicking Analyze or a manual mode by just selecting the energy. The last item I wanted to show you is cardioversion. So if you do need to cardiovert this patient, all you have to do is to make sure that this knob is on the defib mode and once you put that on the defib mode, that sync on option will come up. If you click that sync on, you would note that you will get these cardiac markers in your QRS complex. And then all you have to do is to select the energy that was ordered for this patient. Let's pretend it's only 50. Charge it. And then shock the patient. You notice sync 50 joules and then you would see it's delivered. And again, you would see two different numbers. This is the actual joules that we set and then the actual delivered at the bottom because of the impedance. If, if you wanted to print any strip, you can always click recorder or you go to report data here. Once you click it, you can either print chart, print all or print range. It will give you an option which event okay that's how you print your data and the last feature that i wanted to show you is when to pace so this monitor is now showing a third degree heart block for you to be able to pace all you have to do is to turn your knob to the pacer section and you'll be able to see that the machine actually set this up to 70. First thing that you wanted to make sure is to verify your physician order, what rate do you want to start pacing it. And at the bottom of your screen, you would see the rate and the output here. So let's pretend that the, the rate was set to 70. And then all you have to make sure is to increase your MA. And you would see the MA being changed here until you see a capture. Okay. All right. So once you see the capture, we are now pacing our patient. But the most, one of the feature of this machine is again, your see-through CPR. When you are pacing, you'll be able to see through what is the underlying rhythm. When you press this four to one button here, press and hold, it will reveal what is the underlying rhythm of your patient, which is a nice feature. And again, when you click on the code markers here, you will have different option, treatments and drugs pertaining to your low heart rate. It's a really cool device that makes, you know, our work easier in the healthcare profession. I hope you learned something new today, although this is a quick crash course on how to use a Zoll defibrillator. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button. I'll see you in the next one. Bye.